first responders at major incidents like the one here at Borough Market, those who run towards danger, include the Salvation Army. Founded back in 1865, their Christian mission to serve the community involves supporting the emergency services. Josie Darby has been to Bury to see how they prepare for this emotionally demanding work. This is only a reconstruction, but it's one of the very realistic training exercises for fire officers from across the country. Also arriving on the scene is a unit from the Salvation Army, providing essential support and backup to the emergency officers. Husband and wife team, Majors Nigel and Sue Tansley, are manning the van. Five minutes of water will be boiled. We can put a list of what we've used for today. Great, I'll take this down then. The guys are working hard, they become dehydrated and providing tea, coffee and basic foods for them just to keep them physically going. But more than that, it's, it's a case of relaxation, it's normalising a very difficult situation for them and just those 10-15 minutes when they're away from work means they can reset their minds, get things back into perspective. Over the years we've, we've attended fires, floods, all sorts of things and uh, I like it because it's Christianity with the sleeves rolled up yeah. and we're just there for people when they need them. They turn out in the middle of the night, provide us with welcome brews and they've always got a smile on their face. It's as important as the stuff we're doing not to fuel more. us. Yeah. They actually provide a service if you need to go and talk to somebody else or get something off your chest. It gives us that boost of energy that we need to keep going and um, yeah, they're lovely people. For over 150 years, the Salvation Army, founded in London by William Booth, have loved their neighbours as themselves. It was in the 1970s they first partnered with fire and rescue teams. And at the scene of the recent Manchester attack, they provided support to senior fire officer Ben Levy. I was located at one of the rendezvous points, mm -hmm. alongside the Salvation Army for much of that evening, actually. Yeah. Their faith is very much a comfort to me. You know, it's very clear the passion that the Salvation Army show. And they will do this irregardless of any perceived faith that they have of their firefighters they help. And they're there for every single one of us. Well, it's several hours into the day now and the operation has moved into the rescue phase in real life. However long it goes on, the Salvation Army will stay here too. It's trying to bring something of the love of Jesus, the peace of Jesus, the power of Jesus into a very, very abnormal situation. And if it's making them a cup of tea, I'll make them a cup of tea. If it's listening to the problems and the things that they've seen, I'll do that. Showing Jesus to the people in what you do. And sometimes maybe that's all they see of Jesus. And if that's what they see, a cup of tea, and it reminds them that God loves them, that's brilliant. That theme of love and service is reflected in our next piece of music, and it's sung by Southwark Cathedral's Marbeck Choir.
That beautiful anthem, Ubi Caritas, performed here at Southwark Cathedral, reflects the words inspired by the Bible, where there is love, there also is God. Well, our next hymn, written 400 miles away in the Iona community in Scotland, speaks of the healing and hope that emerges when people unite.